everyone, and welcome to Maple Leaf ESL. My name is Andrew, and thank you for joining me here in the classroom today. For today's lesson, I want to see if we can compare the words whose and whose. Okay, these are often confused words, but actually the difference between them is quite simple. Okay, so let's see if we can take a look, and afterwards, I think you'll realize that it's not that difficult. Okay, let's start with whose with the apostrophe S. So remember, whose is just a contraction of who is or less commonly, who has, okay? So anytime we're using who is, we can just use whose, okay? If we look at the first example, who's coming to the party, okay? Now the simple way to look at that is if we think this is in in this case, it's in the present continuous. So we know when we use the present continuous, we need be, which means this has to be who is coming to the party. Okay, another example, who's got the time, okay? Now, here's an example where we've used who has and put it into a contraction. Who has got the time, right? Remember that, it just means what time is it? Does anyone have the time? Who's got the time, right? Who knows what time it is? So whose here is just who has. Okay, and one more example. Do you know who's going to be there? Again, we can notice it's in the present continuous, right? The present progressive. So do you know who is going to be there? So when we think about that situation, when I'm going to decide, is it this who's or is it that who's, think about, do I need a be in there, right? Do I need is in that sentence? And I think we can see, do you know who is going to be there? Well, clearly, that is the correct choice, okay? All right, now looking here, we've got whose. This is the possessive form of who right? So just think about that. It's the same thing as saying mine or yours or his. But in this case, we're using it usually as a question to show that it belongs to who, right? Okay, so for example, whose smartphone is this, right? So what we're asking here is who does this smartphone belong to, right? Who possesses this smartphone. So whose smartphone is this? So again, as we said, this is a possessive form because I want to know who does this object belong to. Okay, another one, I don't know whose this is. So again, same thing, I don't know who this belongs to. So again, that's a possessive. Okay, and one more, do you know whose shoes those are? So once again, do you know who those shoes belong to? Okay, you'll notice after all of the who's in these examples, we have a noun. Whose smartphone? Who's this? Whose shoes? So whose will always be followed by a noun. Because again, if we're thinking about a possessive, we must have a noun. Because we're saying, who does this object, right, belong to? So the object is gonna be a noun, shoes, smartphone, or in this case, this. Okay, also one more thing, whose can also be used for objects, okay? And this is one more thing to remember. Okay, I put here, the shop whose stores are all over the world is very popular. Okay, in this case, if we think about that, we might write this sentence as the shop which has stores all over the world is popular. So in that case, whose is kind of replacing which, but in this case, it must be for an object. It cannot be for a person. Remember, if it's a person, we're gonna say something like whom, right? So we're gonna say that instead. So in this case, we're using whose in replace of using which, but it's slightly different. Remember, if it's which, the store, which, the shop, which has stores all over the world is popular. So we sometimes use it like that. 
Okay, hopefully the difference between who's and who's is now clear and you can see that it's really not that difficult to use. Thank you so much for joining me here at Maple Leaf ESL and I look forward to seeing you again next time.